everyone, it's Miss Lisa from Papa Creek Library. Today I want to show you how to turn milk from a liquid into a solid plastic with this fun experiment. Here are the supplies that you will need for the fun experiment. Many of these you probably already have at home in your kitchen, but if not, I got some of my stuff from the Dollar Tree. You will need whole milk, one cup, four tablespoons of vinegar, you need some measuring cups and spoons, mixing bowls, at least two that are microwave safe, a spatula or a spoon, a strainer, some paper towels, a straw, some cookie cutters, and Sharpie markers, a thin ribbon, and then your microwave. The first thing we need to do is measure out one cup of the whole milk. To do this, we will use a measuring cup. Slowly pour the milk until it reaches the one cup mark on your measuring cup. And now pour it into your bowl. For this part of the experiment, you will need an adult to help you. We are going to microwave the bowl of milk for 60 seconds. Make sure the bowl that you are using is safe to go in the microwave. You may have to adjust the time depending on how strong your microwave is. And if it's still not warm after 60 seconds, heat it again in 10 second increments, but don't exceed a total of 90 seconds. And be very careful not to boil the milk and also use a pot holder to remove the bowl from the microwave. Next, we're going to measure out four tablespoons of vinegar. Use your measuring spoon to measure out the four tablespoons that we need. You can do this by filling up the one tablespoon four times, pouring each one into the bowl of warm milk. I have a little measuring cup with the four tablespoon mark on it, so I only have to fill this up once. Pour the vinegar into the milk. Start to stir it up and watch what happens. You should see the milk solids start to separate. Continue stirring it for about 60 seconds. Now we want to strain the liquid out. I'm using a bowl, but you can do this in the sink if it is easier. You should have a white fluffy substance left in the strainer. And then you want to drain all of the liquid from the white fluffy stuff. Use your spoon or your spatula to press down on the fluff to release any liquid. When you think all of the liquid has been pushed out, grab a paper towel and continue pressing down to soak up any remaining moisture. When you are done, it should look like this. Now it is time to fill the cookie cutter. You can use any kind that you like, or if you don't have any cookie cutters, you can just try and form a design or a shape with your hands but don't make it too thick or it will take a very long time to dry out. Just scoop the fluff from the strainer and try not to drop it like I did and press it into your shape. Make sure that you press it into all the corners and edges if your cookie cutter has them. Now we're going to form the ornament. Press the fluff evenly into the cookie cutter and again, make sure you push it into all of the corners and the edges. To make an ornament that can hang, take a straw and make a hole into your shape. Try not to get too close to the edge. Just push the straw into the fluff and give it a little twist. Then gently pull the straw up and there should be a hole. Now we wait. Leave your cookie cutters on the paper towel and place it on a flat out of the way surface to dry. Depending on how thick your design is, it could take up to 48 hours or more. Do you know how long 48 hours is? There are 24 hours in one day, so it could take up to two days for it to be dry. Wow! I hope you are patient. The waiting was the hardest part for me. I just wanted to decorate. Here it is, the moment of truth. It's now time to see how it looks. Carefully remove the cookie cutter and voila, we did it. Now it's time for the finishing touches. This is the fun part. We get to use our Sharpie markers to decorate the ornament. Get creative with the colors and the details you use. And when decorating is all done, 
Take the piece of ribbon and loop it through the hole that you made with the straw and tie it into a knot. Ta-da! You did it! You just turned milk into a plastic ornament. You could do it again and try different shapes, or you could split the recipe too to make it less, or you could double it to make more than one ornament at a time. The thicker they are though, the longer it will take to dry. Did we really just turn milk into plastic? Was it magic? No, it is just science. When the protein in the milk called casein comes in contact with the vinegar, the casein and vinegar do not mix, but rather the molecules move around and join forces to make the casein plastic. Thank you for viewing my PowerPoint. I hope you had as much fun as I did experimenting with the milk and turning it into plastic. Don't forget, there are many resources at the Poplar Creek Library just waiting for you to check them out.